93 billion light years in diameter, is the approximate size of the observable universe, continuously expanding, vast and mysterious. With 2 trillion galaxies and 200 billion trillion stars, the real question is, are we really alone? So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at recent discoveries. Mysterious looping space signal could be aliens, says Harvard scientist. In 2020, powerful fleeting bursts of radio signals were detected in a relatively regular pattern. Weird signals like this coming from outer space are called fast radio bursts. According to Harvard University professor Abraham Loeb, aliens trying to contact the Earth is definitely a possible explanation. Loeb became famous in the world of astronomy when a bizarre interstellar object called Oumuamua buzzed the Earth in 2018. He suggested that the object could be an artificial craft of some kind, meaning it was designed and created by some form of intelligent life. Since then, Loeb's take on news about mysterious signals coming from outer space began to be sought after. Powerful bursts coming from the other side of the universe would require a massive source of energy to be able to get the signal across into a part of the universe detectable by humans. Loeb and his colleague crunched the numbers on how much energy is needed to produce an FRB across cosmological distances. It turns out that the amount of power needed is comparable to the power in sunlight intercepted by the Earth. In simpler terms, a project like this would take millions of times more power and resources than anything any scientist has ever imagined here on Earth. It's safe to assume that our technology is so far behind that it would probably take thousands of years before humans can attempt such a project. Could it be that this is the aliens' way of showing how powerful they are? Could this be a warning, or could it just be one of the many random and unexplainable events in our mysterious universe? While the vast majority of people might think this is just another fake alien story, to a well-respected scientist from Harvard like Loeb, it would be a mistake to automatically rule out aliens. Although now, we don't have a definite explanation as to what exactly causes FRBs, it's important that we remain open-minded to possibilities including extraterrestrials trying to contact humans. So what is an acceptable theory to this looping space signal? Loeb believes that the powerful signals detected in 2020 are most likely the bright analogy of pulsars, which are spinning neutron stars with strong magnetic fields. And what exactly are pulsars, you might ask? Pulsars are rotating neutron stars that are observed to have pulses of radiation repeating regularly with intervals ranging from milliseconds to seconds. While this is a possible rational theory, it's not at all backed by substantial evidence that could confirm its validity. Random or not, one thing is for sure. We are years, if not decades or even centuries away from finding out the truth to this mystery. Scientists hope to broadcast DNA and Earth's location for curious aliens. There is an ongoing debate about whether or not it is a good idea for humans to make the first contact with intelligent extraterrestrials. Some people say it would be beneficial to us humans because they might be able to help us solve our problems using their advanced technology. On the other hand, there are people who think it is a bad idea because aliens might want to harm us or worse, colonize us and make us their slaves. While this seems like familiar plots of alien movies, it's undeniable that this is not very far from reality. No matter which side you are on, there are already scientists who came up with a plan to reach out to aliens through a missive, meaning a long official letter called Beacon in the Galaxy. A NASA-led team of scientists from all over the world developed a new message that they proposed to beam across the Milky Way galaxy in hopes of making first contact with intelligent aliens. The group is headed by Dr. Jonathan Zhang at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. According to Dr. Zhang, the message could be broadcast into the depths of the Milky Way using the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array in California and the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope in China. He said that with a few technical upgrades, the project will most likely get the message across successfully. This group wrote a preliminary paper which has not been peer-reviewed yet. According to the paper, 
the group proposes to broadcast the message to a dense ring of stars close to the center of the Milky Way, an area that is known to be the most promising for life to have emerged. The scientists wrote, Humanity has, we contend, a compelling story to share and the desire to know of others and now has the means to do so. If this project gets approved and the message leaves the Earth, it would not be the first time that a message from our planet is broadcasted across the galaxy. In 1974, a similar project called Arecibo was sent from an observatory of the same name located in Puerto Rico. The beacon in the galaxy is loosely based on this message. Arecibo targeted a group of stars that is about 25,000 light years away, so the message will not arrive until the year 26,974. A number of other messages have been beamed into outer space since then, including an advertisement for Doritos and another one is an invitation to a Klingon opera in The Hague. Professor Stephen Hawking warned that people should stop sending messages to space because of the danger that it might attract the wrong kind of attention. He explained that if aliens were to visit us, the situation might be similar to when Christopher Columbus conquered America and it was not at all beneficial to the Native Americans. While projects like Beacon in the Galaxy are ambitious and hopeful of getting the message across, the reality is, even if the missive were to be successfully broadcasted, aliens might not be able to make sense of the words or decode the meaning. In the case of Arecibo, its designer Frank Drake asked a group of Nobel laureates to make sense of the message and none of them understood it. In the extremely low chance of aliens understanding the message sent by humans, Establishing a conversation would be very difficult as messages take thousands of years to arrive. The Wow Signal On August 15, 1977, a strong signal was detected by the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio State University. The entire sequence lasted for only 72 seconds. This mysterious signal unfortunately never happened again leaving scientists wondering about what could have caused this incredible event and where it originated from. Nearly five decades after this incident, scientists still don't have a definite answer as to what caused this intense signal from outer space. While this can be considered as one of those unknown events happening outside of the Earth that we humans just do not have a way to fully investigate, many people believe that this may have been the first recorded attempt of aliens trying to make contact with Earth. Astronomer Jerry R. Amon spotted the signal on a computer printout and was so surprised to see the data that he scrawled WOW in red pen across the page. The printout showed a set of information that is very similar to what SETI astronomers expect to see from an ET intelligence. It's a shame that technology back then was too outdated to detect the signal in real time. Back in 1977, Data like the WOW signal would not be available to astronomers until days after it happened. A professor in Florida suggested an explanation regarding the WOW signal. In 2017, he proposed that the signal came from the hydrogen cloud surrounding two comets. This hypothesis was dismissed by several astronomers, explaining that the comets sighted are not in the beam at the correct time. Also, comets are known to emit strong frequencies but not as strong as the frequency detected from the WOW signal itself. Until this day, the WOW signal is still the strongest candidate for an ET radio transmission ever detected. The cause and the origin remains to be one of the greatest mysteries in astronomy, as scientists are still trying to find answers. The universe is so incomprehensibly vast that even the smartest of humans are finding it very difficult to keep up with mysterious sounds, signals and frequencies detected by our instruments. It's undeniably hard to take one's side, to be a believer or a non-believer of extraterrestrial life when there is very little to no verifiable data about the deepest mysteries of the universe. One of the oldest stars in the galaxy has a planet. Our universe took a lot of evolving and developing to get where it is today, so it is somewhat strange when we find aspects that we know are not that old existing in the early days of the universe. In the early universe, we simply did not have all the scientific elements that we have today. The elements needed to form rocky planets did not exist, yet despite this, astronomers have found right here in the Milky Way galaxy 
a rocky planet dating back further than you would expect. A little bit of an astronomical timeline is needed here to form this picture. The Big Bang took place, resulting in an abundance of the light elements in the universe – hydrogen, helium, and a smaller amount of lithium. About 200 million years following the Big Bang, stars began to form, and along with them, heavier elements developed in the cores of stars, including carbon, oxygen, and iron. Now, for rocky planets to form, we need those materials from the cores of stars, so we should not be able to find rocky planets in the early days of the universe. These planets should, instead, be gaseous like Jupiter. There is one planet that is being looked at in this study. It has been found orbiting TOI 561, a star that is an approximate 10 billion years old and is one of the oldest in our galaxy. This planet was found through the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite and then observed more closely using the Keck telescope. This star is part of the galactic thick disk, an area of the galaxy made almost exclusively out of ancient stars, giving it a unique chemical composition. The stars in the so-called thick disk are much less metallic than in the thin disk, adding even more surprise to the discovery that it is indeed a rocky planet orbiting the star. The planet named TOI 561b was first found when it moved in front of the star it orbits. This process stopped the shine of the star for a moment, meaning the light dipped and Tess could see the planet lurking just in front of the star. After this, the next step was to gather information on the planet. Not only is it rocky, but it has a mass three times that of the Earth's, adding more evidence to the belief that this is a rocky planet, not a gaseous one. TOI 561b is not the only planet to orbit this old star, though. But the other two are confirmed to be gaseous, not rocky. It might take some time to continue this research and unravel this mystery, though it appears that something is different than how we currently understand it, whether that is the timeline of our universe, the composition of this planet, or the elements needed to form them. Astronomers discover massive galaxy shipyard Scientists may soon have the opportunity to study how galaxies form clusters after their creation. In a 2021 publication, a team of researchers confirmed the discovery of a protocluster, which refers to a group of galaxies about to group together by the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope. The team was able to discover the protocluster by looking through a sample of over 2,000 formations that were potentially in the process of forming a galaxy group. Galaxy clusters are extremely important. Our own solar system, the Milky Way, is part of a cluster called the Local Group. However, studying protoclusters is difficult because they cannot be detected by optical light. To find them, scientists must look to other regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Protoclusters tend to appear far more prominently in submillimeter wavelengths. The newfound galaxy group, which has been identified as the G237 protocluster, was observed in the far infrared region. G237 is 11 billion light-years away from Earth. So far, 63 galaxies have been observed as part of the protocluster. As explained by Brenda Fry, co-author of the study, you can think of galaxy protoclusters such as G237 as a galaxy shipyard in which massive galaxies are being assembled, only this structure existed at a time when the universe was 3 billion years old. Galaxies are created when gravity pulls together stars and other matter. After they are assembled, galaxies show a strong tendency to form clusters. Researchers were initially puzzled by the formation processes of the G237 protocluster. It seemed to be forming stars at an unrealistic rate, more than 10,000 times that of the Milky Way. This should indicate a protocluster that is depleting stellar fuel rapidly. To sustain its level of production, G237 needed a constant stream of fuel in the form of hydrogen gas, which is necessary to form stars. The problem was that scientists did not know where it could be getting this gas. Ultimately, it was concluded that sufficient hydrogen could be drawn from gas threads, called filaments, that link galaxies in the cosmic web. Filaments are connected by nodes, which is also where protoclusters are located. Fry stated, We believe that the filaments mediate the transfer of hydrogen gas from the diffuse medium of intergalactic space onto these hungry, newly forming protoclusters in the nodes. 
Researchers also realized some of their data had come from galaxies irrelevant to the protocluster, but the G237 star formation rate remains impressive nonetheless. It appears that the protocluster produces 1,000 solar masses annually, while the Milky Way creates only one. Hopefully, G237 and other protoclusters will help scientists understand the mechanisms of star formation in galaxies and how protoclusters ultimately become superclusters. But what do you make of these space signals and discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.